is Raineen and I'm a certified yoga teacher and personal trainer and today I'm here to show you how to do Sukhasana or easy seat. So, and by the way you don't need any equipment and that's what I love most about yoga but I will be showing you with a blanket and what I like about the blanket is that it helps for helps for a more comfortable seat without without that much effort. So by sitting on the edge of any folded blanket or a pillow or even a block, and you bring your sit bones to the edge so that your hips kind of tilt forward, automatically your spine is long and straight versus if you were not on the blanket, it's a little bit easier for our tail to be tucked and to be some rounding in the spine. And it's really important in pretty much all of our poses that the spine is nice and tall. So again, if you sit at the edge of the blanket, and let your hips kind of spill off the edge so that they're tilted forward, the spine will already be nice and tall. Now with the legs, it's just a simple cross. The shins will cross, the feet will come underneath the shins, and your hands will put wherever's comfortable. So you can lay palms down on the thighs, you can do palms up, you can bring your hands to heart center. There's so many things to do, lots of mudras, what we'll get to in different tutorials. But as you're sitting here, the most important thing is that you feel yourself rooting down through your sit bones, and you'll move your way up the spine so that it feels nice and tall. You have that neutral curve in the lower back. The top of the head will reach straight up towards the sky, and what the sensation you should feel in the body is as if the ground was pulling you down and the sky was pulling you up. So you feel rooted and lifted at the same time. Shoulders you want soft away from the ears, so if you'd like, you can roll them up, back and down, nice and relaxed, chest is open. Take a deep breath in, and deep breath out. And feel yourself melt down into the pose. And so there really shouldn't be any more gripping or holding. You'll feel that once you get yourself set up right and you've settled down, your bones will support you just the way you are. So the shoulders are soft, the belly is soft, the inner thighs are soft. And this is a great way to start your practice to center yourself and a great place to meditate. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll be get to you as soon as I can. Namaste, thank you. And if you're trying to build some momentum in your life, then subscribe here and it'll be all things yoga and fitness. I'll see you next time.